Hey there, awesome physics students. Let's talk about how many bagels does that burn when I do a particular physical activity? Or in other words, how many calories am I using inside my body to do a mechanical output energy expenditure? So the, uh, the activity I want to think about here is we're walking up a hill and the elevation change that we experience while walking up that hill is 100 meters total from start to finish. And we're going to walk for about 10 minutes which is 600 seconds and we're going to walk at a speed of 5 kilometers per hour which is about uh, 1.39 meters per second uh, or about um, 3.1 miles per hour okay now for the purposes of this we're going to say that my mass is 68 kilograms and uh, the nice thing about these parameters, the reason I chose these parameters, is that there's a table in our textbook that we can look up how much energy does it take from inside of our bodies, how much do we spend input to walk five kilometers an hour on a flat surface. And when we look this up, the power output, or the power, excuse me, the power input from our bodies is 380 watts. Okay, so we can easily find the energy just from walking by taking this 380 watts and multiplying it by the 600 seconds and that gives us 228 kilojoules if we multiply that out. Now the problem with this is it doesn't tell us how much uh, energy we spend by climbing 100 meters. And so that we have to, to compute that we need to know something about efficiency. So let's talk about efficiency. Efficiency is just the energy output divided by the energy input. Okay. Now, in general, well, not just in general, always energy output is going to be less than energy input. There's always going to be some kind of losses that are going to occur. And so because of that, this number is always going to be less than 1 or less than 100%. For cars, this number is about... 10 to 35% uh, for the highest, most fuel efficient hybrid vehicles. Um, our bodies, for people, this number is uh, about 25% on average or about one quarter. So, what this means is that for every one joule of mechanical output energy that we do, like climbing up a hill, we have to internally spend four joules of internal energy okay or our internal expenditure is four times bigger than our output okay so uh, if i rearrange this mathematically i can i can express that as the energy input that our bodies consume inside is equal to the energy output divided by the efficiency i just did some algebra on that real quick okay so dividing by 25% down here is the same as multiplying by 4. So really we just have to take the energy output and multiply it by 4. Okay, so with that in mind, what's happening here with the elevation change? Well, the elevation change is an increase in gravitational potential energy. So I'm going to call that the energy spent because of gravity, into increasing our gravitational potential energy. And that is just... Uh, the output of that is just mgh, but we want how much our bodies actually use. So we have to divide by this um, epsilon, or this um, efficiency number, which again is the same as multiplying by 4 for if we assume it's 25%. Okay, so let's go ahead and compute this. In this case, it's uh, our mass is 68 kilograms. Uh, gravity is, uh, gravitational constant is 9.8 newtons per kilogram. And uh, our, the height that we're climbing is 100 meters. And then we divide this by 0.25, which is just a ratio, has no units. And so when I compute this number, I get um, about 266.6 kilojoules. I went ahead and computed that ahead of time. So this is the number just from our gravitational potential energy increasing, how much we spend internally to achieve that. And this number here is the amount of energy we spend internally, how many calories, not calories, but joules, we burn internally just by walking. And so if we add these together, the total 
spent internally is going to be uh, about 495 kilojoules. Okay. Now, if we convert this into food calories so we can understand how that plays out with our diet, um, this is about equal to 118 kilocalories or capital C calories. So to get back to the question, how many bagels is that? A bagel is about, you know, 240 uh, kilocalories or something like that, maybe 300, depending on what, what you have on it and all that stuff. Uh, so this is about a half a bagel. So anyway, hopefully this gives you an idea of how we use efficiency whenever we're with people's inputs versus our outputs.